some people come to us and they're already suffering from a, a whole shopping list of symptoms or diseases. And uh, some, some doctors consider different forms of digestive issues uh, to be unrelated. In our experience, many of them are related. Overproduction of acid, overconsumption of carbonated drinks and alcohol that exacerbate or magnify the condition of these digestive disorders all contribute to the condition that you have. The issues that I think can be related are acid reflux and GERD and esophageal issues, um, dysfunctioning valves including the esophageal sphincter and the pyloric valve at the bottom of the stomach, um, uh, ulcerations, diverticula, acid stomach, uh, heartburn, um, IBD, IBS, constipation, diarrhea, gallbladder issues, um, and there's there's dozens of issues with you know hundreds of names that may seem to be unrelated, and your doctor may say you know may or may not be related to this. That in many cases uh, can be or are related. Am I qualified to tell you which of these may or may not be related? Not really, but in our experience, we have found that people that follow the program diligently for a period of time often find that this whole list of symptoms starts to go away when their main issue is dealt with. For instance, some people with digestive disorders are also sensitive to many foods. They consider themselves to be allergic to those foods. Gluten is one of the more obvious ones. And then when they begin to heal from the main digestive issue, which they thought was one of their problems, they find that these other problems just tend to start either minimizing or going away completely. So again, the answer is yes or no. They may or may not be related, but we prefer that people follow the program strictly and, and find out for themselves. And then if there's, if there's some condition that's left when you're done, you may have to deal with that more specifically or with a doctor. Thanks.